Till next time. Once again, Grapple fans, welcome to your regular Saturday lunchtime helping of professional wrestling. The main course is not to be missed, but to warm us up, let's get ringside for the first contest. And alongside the man who saved you your regular seat, Ken Walton. Thank you, yes, and what a warm-up bow we have for you. We welcome you to this Dale Martin promotion, Grapple fans, here at the Victoria Leisure Centre in Keithley, with a very special catch match. On the right there, Pete LaPac from Leicester, 13 stone 2. On the left, of course, the one and only Johnny Saint, the world lightweight champion. Brian Crabtree, your master of ceremonies, to introduce them. Hello once again, wrestling fans, and we start today with a catch week contest at six three-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout will decide the winner. On my left, and in the blue corner, from Leicester, the captain of the Rockers tag team, Pete LaPac. Presenting on my right in the red corner, the world lightweight champion, none other than classy Johnny Say. And number three today, our referee from Leeds, Martin Warren. So Martin Warren, the qualified dentist from Leeds. Yes, a qualified dentist he is, as well as a wrestling referee. He looks after this catchweight bout, Pete LaPac from Leicester. Just behind him there. And of course, the figure of Johnny Saint in his usual black and gold trunks. Second away, round one. And here we go for a six round contest of three minutes per round. Two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide the winner. Easily identifiable. If you can't see the name Saint right across Johnny's trunks, <laughs> you will sort of get the tattoos on his forearms and upper arms. And Lapax, full leotard there. So no identification problems in this one. Lapak is going to be out to try and use his extra weight, his weight advantage here, a couple of stone. Remember that Mike Flash Jordan held the world lightweight title for quite some time, a few months. Johnny Saint got it back. And I think he's liable to retain it for quite some time yet. Johnny Saint, the greatest lightweight in the world since the one and only George Kidd. Pack's only hope here is to use the uh, strength holes if he can. Use his weight. Because if he's after trying any tricks with Johnny Saint, he's got a nasty shot coming to him. Yes, <laughs> he was tempted to take that figure into lock. He took it, and of course, he lost the move. Just a minute to go in his first round of six. That's good. Johnny Saint's going to come up, up with it any time. <laughs> like that. Hurts. Tremendous move. My pack didn't know where it was coming from. It's a little bit mad about it, too. Right on the bell. In just a couple of seconds' time. You heard 
inside the bell. Get ready. So, orders from Martin Warren. He's not going to even have time to get back to his quarter hardly before the start of round two. Second away, round two. Johnny Saint on the right there. Black and gold trunks. Yes, now maybe Lapak is going to try and get a little tougher this time. This is his only chance. He must know it by now. Half Nelson throw. <laughs> he wishes he hadn't started that now. Cloud shouting easy, but uh, look at that call through. Just for the interlock fingers. Now Pack agrees. He comes from behind, slides back through again. Now Pack doesn't know where he is. At. And finally, Johnny Sage got a chance for the folding press from the side, and he holds it. Wonderful start. Great to see a great wrestler in action here. One minute, six seconds of round two. The first fold of Johnny Sun. And one minute, six seconds of only round two. A brilliant fall, the first fall of the contest, Johnny Sage. And this is how it happened. If you can follow it from the double finger into one. Undresses the move, goes for the head, comes around the back. The pack doesn't know where to go now. Over the top, back underneath through the legs. Puts the hands up in the air to fool him. The pack goes down to try and get a leg dive in there, but Johnny Saint comes from underneath with a crutch hold, folds his man into a press. And he holds it. Johnny Saint, the man who has held that world title several years now, with one little break in the middle, which flashed uh, like that George got it from him. So the second half of the bout as we start round four. Johnny Saint, still leading by one fold to nil, gained in the second. Saint just leaning into those forearms. His man on the deck all the time. And he gets a public coin for him. So the first public coin for the pack for attacking his man continuously on the floor. Jumps it. Rolls off the back beautifully. This is the drop kick that time, Saint. First time I've seen him miss a drop kick for a long time. But I'm afraid he's hurt his leg. Let's just see whether Johnny Saint is in that much trouble or whether he's kidding I'll pack along a bit. I don't think he is. He's in trouble. Going for Saint, really the hard way now, but it's the only way that he has a chance of getting anywhere with a man like this. Now he's got the leg, the injured leg, and he might get a submission for that. Yes, he has. Equalizing submission in round four to Pete Lepak in just one minute, 38 seconds. So one each, Brian Crabtree to announce that equalizing fall for the submission. seconds of round four, the equalizing submission to the rocker, Pete Lepak. That's right, Rocker, still known as the Rocker. He was a tag team known as the Rockers before they became the Lepaks. Round five coming up any second. 
second way, round five. Two to go. Score is one fall each. One fall by Saint in the second, equalized by the submission fall in the fourth by the pack. Trying to be tough, and this is only chance. Going for that left leg as hard as he can, but all at the wrong time. Yes, again the left leg. Everything LaPac that is doing. So another public calling to the pack. We're taking his man on the fence. But not that time. Speed would say to avoid this these attacks. And he has to right against the corner there. <laughs> yes. So much in. Just one minute, 24 seconds. Round five. The winning submission, of course, to Johnny Saint. But at least Lafayette got one submission fall. And one minute, 24 seconds at round five. The winner, the champion, Johnny Saint. up uh, complaining with this man but there was nothing done to him at all that he was the slightest bit illegal anyway sent the winner two to one in round five now after the break it's time for the big boys that's uh, edinburgh's rory campbell facing british heavyweight champion dalbir singh i think brian Crabtree has an announcement to make first. Let's see. 